every year we see new supercar manufacturer come and go. Some of them without even seeing the day of production. So there is quite a long list of names that time has forgotten, for one reason or another. These cars can be categorized into classes. The dream of every car guy to build his own supercar and scammers who are just trying to make a quick buck. So hello guys and welcome back to another video and this is Unknown Supercars, the series dedicated to unknown or forgotten supercars. Despite being one of the wealthiest and most advanced countries, Canada doesn't have a true car industry. But through its history, there have been many that have tried to create a Canadian car manufacturer that could go mainstream. And one of these manufacturers was MCV, or Motion Concept Vehicles. MCV was founded in the early 90s by a skilled team of car enthusiasts with the sole goal to build the first truly Canadian supercar. I am saying truly because there had been a number of different sport cars from Canada before. Unlike most of the new supercars that appeared in the early 90s, none of the founders had a background in car industry. One of them was an engineer who was specialized in composite material, the other was a marketing expert and an ex the car racing team boss. The idea was to build a supercar that would cost around 250,000 Canadian dollars, and they were planning to build 100 cars per year, with a total output of 350 cars. Thanks to funding from Pirelli and Fuji Canada, the team immediately started working on the project, and by 1993 the tubular space frame chassis was ready and was presented at the Canadian International Sh Auto Show of the same year. And together with the space frame, MCV also presented some design ideas of how the body would look like. Again, different from many car supercar makers of the time, MCV decided not to go with an established designer. Instead, they hired a young student, who did a great job. Not only the car looked good, but the space frame fitted perfectly as well. The team built a full-scale clay model. This was done not only to see how the car would look like in real life, but also because in this way they were going to make the forms for the fiberglass panels. In 1994, MCV went to present their first prototype as an alternative fuel vehicle show in Toronto. The reason for being at this motor show was that the CH4 was going to run on methane gas. Many car makers were giving gas methane a try in the early 90s, with Bugatti being one of the most known names among them. One of the biggest problems that MCV would face was finding funds. Soon the team found out that the fiberglass panels were just too thick, so they decided to go for a composite material. A combination of fiberglass and Kevlar, similar to what Indy cars were using at the time. By this time a Canadian composer by the name of Don Wright joined the team, bringing new fans. One year later, in 1995, MCV officially introduced the first prototype at that year's Canadian International Auto Show. The car was named CH4, which is the chemical composition of methane gas. But despite the name, the car wasn't functional and MCV still didn't have an engine. Since developing a new engine, especially one that would run on methane gas, would have been just too expensive, MCV decided to use another engine, 
This was a Cadillac V8, which was twin turbocharged. This gave the car around 350-450 horsepower. Things were looking good and even more promising where MCV started talks with Lola, which wanted to build the bodies for MCV. But things weren't meant to be. GM decided not to sell engines to MCV, so they switched to a Ford V8, which actually could run on methanol. Another hit came from the Canadian legislation, which required all the cars that were going to be built in Canada had to undergo crash tests, even if it was a limited production car. And with no funding, the MCV CH4 project was cancelled. Now the reason why this project failed. The owners played the dot com blamed the dot com bubble for the cancellation. But like the most cars that you are going to see on this series, the name is the biggest problem. The supercar market is very limited, so you have to be very unique in order to succeed. Yeah, they were unique because the CH4 could run on gas methane, but this was more a downside than a something positive, because the infra infrastructure just wasn't there. The second is that MCV was only known in Canada. They wanted to present the car at the Geneva Auto Show where all these supercars are presented, but this never happened. And the final reason, the funds. The money just wasn't there and the project just went on for too long. So guys, thank you for watching and see you next time.